now, Denver police officer John Adzit out of surgery and in recovery. He is the most seriously injured of four bicycle officers hit by a car today during a protest march by Denver East High School students. Those students protesting the grand jury's decision not to indict former Ferguson, Missouri officer Darren Wilson. Marshall Zellinger is live outside Denver Health right now where Officer Adzit's condition is improving tonight, Marshall. That's the message we're getting from the officer's family because of these series of tweets from Denver police via the officer's family. This says from this evening, the family of Officer John Adsit, we'd like to thank you for your thoughts and prayers on behalf of Officer Adsit. It continues, please continue to pray as we trust the Lord for a complete recovery. We ask for your respect for our privacy as we gather for John. Four Denver police bicycle officers injured when the driver of this black Mercedes lost control on Colfax at High Street. We need those ambulances in there right away. Started driving on the sidewalk. The first one just fell there, and the second he was dragged all the way here. Police telling us the Mercedes driver had a medical emergency. Officer John Adsit critically injured. The other three officers already treated and released. Here's why the bicycle officers were on Colfax in the first place. You can see them escorting East High School students marching in protest of the grand jury decision in Ferguson, Missouri. Just kind of scary that it was so close to so many students. About 500 left school this morning and marched to Civic Center Park and then the 16th Street Mall. It was peaceful and we walked like everywhere, so I think it was really good. We asked quite a few students why they were protesting. As teenagers, many people discredit our thoughts and I think that it's great that people are hearing what we have to say. Others were hamming for the camera. We found some who appeared to just want time off from class. Why are you out protesting today? Because the cops are wrong and they're stupid. It's important to point out that last comment from the student was prior to the accident involving the officers. We've confirmed that this was a student-oriented protest, that it was not planned by anyone, the teacher at the school. And the principal put a message on the uh, high school website saying that he was involved driving behind the protest once it started marching down Colfax to make sure all students would be safe. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News. Hey, we were the first source to break this story as it happened on the 7 News app. You can download that app for free for Android and Apple devices.